Good morning. I'm excited to be here this morning um, and to uh, guide you through what I uh, see as an exciting development. So I'm here to introduce you, or better yet, let Cortana introduce you to the uh, galaxy's largest playground for blockchain developers. So Microsoft Azure is a hyperscale uh, global cloud platform that has the fundamentals to provide you for infra infrastructure services like virtual machines and storage and networking, but so much more. Uh, Microsoft, when we began the cloud journey, we actually overshot uh, the marketplace and developed and focused our attention on platform as a service, essentially building a fabric of APIs uh, that don't have any dependence on particular VMs and instances. Rather, you just declaratively program what it is your intentions. Uh, so we have a, a huge portfolio of these platform services that you see here. Now, why am I showing you these platform services instead of focusing on VMs? Uh, platform services are the future. Uh, worrying about your VMs and uh, you know, what their sizes are and their capabilities are really a thing of the past. Uh, we are rather getting to a point where you're declaring uh, in software what your hardware dependencies and needs are. So uh, with this, uh, for blockchain developers, I'm just going to point out a couple of these. This is a, an eye chart slide, and believe me, this eye chart slide has been condensed and simplified. It's a much uh, larger ecosystem. But you can see some of these services like notification hubs, machine learning, uh, which we have uh, rebranded into Cortana Analytics. Um, brings machine learning to the masses and makes it um, achievable uh, and surfacing uh, machine learning capabilities for prediction markets uh, around the world. The event hubs, the key vault, uh, so crypto is very important. We offer a key vault that has a, a unique service we think will be of interest to this community. And then Active Directory, we talked a little bit about uh, identity and federated identity, how we first establish identity uh, and how do we allow you to have composite identities. Uh, that is a very important thing. And when I talk about Azure, I'm gonna talk about size for a minute. So uh, this is but one building. This building is very large. I don't know if you can see the scale here. Oops, well, I can't pinch and zoom because it's uh, projecting. But anyway, you can see the cars over there. This is one building in a, a typical data center in Azure. Each data center, the new data centers, have four of these buildings connected at each location. We are adding a million cores. Uh, that's our run rate. Uh, at a very, we would, every time I say it's a million cores a year, we, we up that. So we're growing uh, very, very rapidly in this space. Now, again, this is just one data center, uh, one quarter of a data center. Now, these data centers do span the globe. So when we talk about what's there, we are talking about hyperscale global network. Um, the ones in green that are highlighted, those are coming online later this year. But you can see we basically covered, uh, cover the world. Um, and where we find a need, particularly if it's regulatory, um, we, and there's a, a demand from our customers, we'll plop a data center in there. Uh, we have data centers in China. Um, we have data centers coming into Canada uh, this year. Uh, now, Azure is an open cloud. It is the most open cloud, I would argue. Um, we are not the old Microsoft. This is the new Microsoft. Uh, we embrace open source. Uh, we actually contribute a great deal to some of the most uh, innovative uh, features that are coming with cloud. And I'm gonna talk about ones that I think are very strategic to what we're trying to do here um, with Ethereum and our partners. So all of this is available to you in Azure. So you pick and choose the flavor of OS that you want or forget about the OS, pick and choose the database, the platform, the blockchain, um, the UI, whatever. Whatever your dev tools are, will support it. So uh, again, this is hyperscale enterprise cloud and before the Red Hat announcement, which was last week, I believe. Uh, we announced uh, Red Hat availability uh, for our enterprise customers and really anybody. One in four of our VMs were Linux. Uh, we expect that to about double, to be about half of our VMs will be Linux-based. 
uh, running in the cloud. Now, I would be remiss in talking about regulatory compliance. Uh, for those of you that target enterprise customers, they do tend to care about this stuff. We are the most compliant cloud uh, and have the largest portfolio of certifications in the world. Uh, none of our competitors can attest to this. There's one I put a question mark about the safe harbor. Um, we'll see what happens there. Uh, but uh, I, I guarantee you, if there is a certification to be had, uh, we will get it. Um, if there is a regulatory hurdle to jump, we will jump it. Um, there will not be a blocker uh, for Azure moving forward. So what is blockchain as a service? What are we intending to do? So the first thing we're doing at uh, the enterprise level, so we're targeting primarily our enterprise customers, but really this benefits the entire development community. Uh, we are creating a set of services that allow our customers to fail fast. Most of our enterprise customers cannot afford to take the jump, particularly into Ethereum or blockchain, and use a parachute when they jump out the plane. They need to fall fast and hit the ground fast. If they're gonna fail, fail early. Uh, and then get back up and try it again. Now, how do they do that with IT infrastructures and budgets and constraints? It's expensive, they're too slow. We want our customers and our developers to be able to experiment rapidly at low cost, to spin up resources on demand, uh, and experiment by mixing and matching different frameworks, different platforms, different tools to create the most awesome Ethereum-based applications on the planet. So uh, we talk about creating private Ethereum uh, environments. Uh, how do they do that rapidly? Uh, supporting the public network, going back and forth. Uh, and eventually, you know, we're creating that platform to evolve as this technology evolves, uh, to be able to make sure that the services that you need are there. So the biggest hurdle I always hear from customers is getting started. And I remember July 31st when Frontier came out, I spent the better part of two days sitting in my office trying to get the damn thing up and running. Uh, and I, unfortunately, I was using Windows, which is even worse. <laughs> Once I switched to Ubuntu, I was uh, a little bit more successful. Uh, but uh, we'll try to fix that, by the way. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, so we want to make it very easy. So one-click deployment, and what does that mean? So in Azure, if, if you have not seen Azure, I'm going to show it to you in a moment. So the Azure has uh, a portal that our developers and IT pros go to to create and manage resources that are going to be used in the cloud. So we are going to be introducing, um, this is what I call a soft launch, because this is a developer audience. You guys will forgive me if I show you GitHub and things like that. If I uh, did a hard launch, it would be all polished and marketing, and we wouldn't show you any. Uh, I would not definitely show you uh, an SSH shell uh, or anything like that. Um, but here, we're going to show you what the vision is, and then I'll actually show you what it looks like at this moment. But this blockchain category will be up here. Now, you'll notice we have some pre-populated uh, items up here, and we're talking about the blockchain as a service, particularly the Ethereum blockchain as a service, or FS, um, provided by Consensus. So Consensus is launching today uh, two uh, basic packages uh, in this marketplace. Uh, the marketplace will consist of a uh, private loopback, if you will, private blockchain environment based off of the Go implementation. With one click, you will install a private network that has a pre-fueled uh, uh, Ether account, so you can go ahead, and our intention is to have someone, a newbie, and these enterprise customers to, with one click, be able to deploy and get up uh, and stand up an Ethereum environment, follow a simple script, and write their first smart contract application within 20 minutes. If you'd have told me that on the 31st, I'd have probably come to tears because of the amount of what time I spent on learning how not to do it. Uh, so we want to make it much easier. Now, we, en we envision our customers picking from this menu, and this menu, when it says blockchains, we kept it uh, unique because we want services that um, apply, even if you're not providing a full blockchain stack, if you're not doing this, the C++ implementation or the Go implementation or the Java implementation, but you have a service that you have written that is specifically designed to work with Ethereum networks. You should publish it here to make it discoverable. Uh, so we're, we're creating this category, and you can see you could uh, go through any one of these, and I'm gonna walk you through what it looks like. 
But if you wanted to have a private blockchain, for instance, that had six nodes, one node of the East Coast of the United States, one in Europe, one in China, one in Japan, and one in Singapore, you could do that. All within filling up one wizard and click deploy, and you'd be up and running within minutes. That's amazingly powerful. So let me show you what this looks like really quickly. Um, the marketplace, real uh, fast, if I can come up and let me not have it extend to my screen. So this is what the Azure portal looks like. I'm using the Batman theme. Uh, it does come in black. Uh, so I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to say new. And I'm going to create a new, uh, let's say, Ubuntu, just you know, because that's what I've been do using lately. I'm going to create here and show you what this looks like. Now, I'm not going to go through this process because I'm showing you creating a VM for Ubuntu. That's not exciting. I'm going to, let, uh, I'm going to show you what it's going to look like to create uh, one of these blockchain assets. But I did want to point out a couple of things. Let me uh, pick a different region and just show you how badass a machine I can create. Let's say I'm you know, really going to be aggressive with this, and I want to, say, create a... Let's see how much money I want to spend. There we go. This looks good. 32 cores and 448 gigs. That looks good to me. So you can see I can pick and choose from a menu of these type of resources and, and uh, go ahead and just type in a host name. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work either. Anyway, there's a, I can't use uh, spaces. There's a space in there. But anyway, I can configure this and say go, and it will go out and provision this and create it. Now, for the quick starts, you're going to see when I told you that um, for the uh, uh, Ethereum blockchains, we have not stood up the blockchain category yet. That will happen probably by the end of the month. Uh, but what you do see, this is the Azure Marketplace. I'm just going to uh, touch on this blockchain strato, which they're actually going to show you next. And I'm going to show you the one-click deploy of what it looks like. Um, for deploying blockchain. Uh, so I'm going to create this block, block app strato image. Now this is based on Ubuntu and it has the full stack here. We've got a lot of Azure logins. So I'm going to log in really quick and it's going to fire up. Yeah, yeah. Come in as me. And it's going to fire up right into uh, the template for me to fill in my parameters for my new blockchain uh, environment that I want to spin up. So as we come up, and this is live, I'm not chewing a video or anything here. I'm going to name this, you know, hey, whoops. Let me go back. So I'm going to type in some stuff here. I'm going to go on the dev network and put in a password and then say, okay, and it'll spin up and create it. Now I'm going to let these guys actually do that. They're actually going to do it live. Let me switch back to my slides really quick and give you the big picture. So let's talk about the, the technology I think is going to change the way we deliver these types of services and deliver this value. The first is, uh, is containers, so namely Docker and Windows containers. They're basically um, interchangeable at this point. The amount of work we've done with Docker to make um, container technology ubiquitous across Linux and Windows distributions. Uh, and be, uh, have a single management platform and deployment platform working with the Apache Foundation. We have created an environment where you can mix and match VMs and containers to get the right environment for you at the drop of a hat and be able to change things almost instantly uh, and deploy and scale uh, based on your needs and demand. And remember, this is Azure. And if you're not familiar with Azure, Azure is a subscription service. You only pay for what you use. It's not like getting a cable TV package or getting a cell phone package. You're only going to pay for what you use. So when we have these containers, um, so uh, a container, if you're not familiar with Docker, it runs within a VM or it can run on the hypervisor itself. We are creating an image repository. And these image repositories are going to have containers that have pre-packaged, like say, um, a stack for Ethereum, uh, a particular stack, and you can have 10, 20, 30 different types of stacks that you can mix and match. Select those from the image repository and then spin up on your platform um, the, the stack that you're, that you're wanting to build upon. 
Now where this leads us is to this broader vision for blockchains. So the Ethereum blockchain is a service vision with containers and the ability to dynamically spin up these type of resources. We envision an era of microservices. So microservices, uh, we are really decomposing, it was, uh, let me go back to the talk yesterday, the capabilities so that you can quickly compose solutions um, and be able to look at these different capabilities in this service fabric um, and be able to begin developing blockchain-based applications, consuming and exposing these other additional value-added services, such that the blockchain um, development in the ecosystem becomes a much richer environment for our enterprise customers. So my question for you is, uh, as you look at this type of environment, uh, and noting that in the back, if you grab one of those big posters, it has a $200 certificate. It's like winning the lottery. You get that big check that actually you can't do anything with. You actually don't have to take the poster, but everyone that's in attendance will have the ability to get a $200 credit for Azure um, to be able to evaluate this and uh, start building your apps and looking at building Ethereum APIs, blockchain APIs, crypto services, whatever you can dream of uh, to build on this platform. And my question to you is, what will you add? Thank you.